Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show Market Review of the SPY. Thought I would do a review today, even though it is December 29th. It's Monday. I'm not trading this week. It is going to be a, a slow week in the market for stocks. And someone had emailed me this morning. I said, listen, if you are uh, going to do anything at all this week, I would trade only in the morning very, very quickly and basically scalp anything that you trade. But I really think it's a good idea for people to take off in the holiday time not just to rest and refresh yourself, but also so that you don't really do anything silly going into the end of the month or the end of a calendar year, which, which we're in now, in the last final week of the year, the last three trading days of the year. It's just not a good idea for people to set a negative tone for themselves by doing silly things like trading when there isn't a lot of volatility, there isn't a lot of volume, and there isn't a lot of momentum. Now, that being said... <laughs> That being said, there actually could be in the market ETFs, in the QQQs or the SPY, there could be some volatility, momentum, and volume coming in either tomorrow or the 31st in the QQQs or the SPY. It would be either really possibly the 31st. I mean, it really could happen on the last calendar day of the year or possibly the first, These are, it's going to happen either December 30th, December 31st, January, well, it would be actually January 5th, which is Monday, or January 2nd, which is Tuesday, I mean, which is Friday. I don't know, in the next one, two, three, four days. In the next four days, I, I don't know exactly what day it's going to happen. I, I really wouldn't know unless I'd see the gap in the morning. But in the next four days, between now and next Monday, and this includes next Monday, next week, with the markets closed on New Year's Day, the market's probably going to have a big green day. It's probably going to have a big, big green day. It'll be interesting to see if it closes out the year or starts the new year, because it's probably going to be one of the above, one of either ones. The market could have a huge, massive rally on the last trading day of the year or prior to the last trading day of the year or at the first or second trading days of the year. So I won't know that until I see the gap. And again, I'm not trading, but I'm seeing that it's that is going to happen. And, and the interesting thing is that I really saw, I've been expecting this for so long, actually, like back in September here, at this point here, I remember talking about it. Now, we have had some big green days in here. Don't get me wrong. And, and this, this isn't the kind of thing I'm talking about. We've had some big green days in here. But what I thought could possibly set up here looks like it's going to set up here soon, now, any day, which is a breakout higher, continuing higher to lift the market in a massive, massive day of buying which could have happened back in September so the market pulled in. But then we just continued higher anyways. And we ended up making a new high, and now we're in the spine. The target, uh, the next target is 210. We hit 209 today, basically, 208.97. So we're $1 away from the next target and could get to 210, 212. We could still get there before the end of the year because if we had that big green bar day before the end of the year, it'll be a $2 day or more. And again, it could happen the very, very first part of January, too. I think it's going to happen in the next week, though, the way this is setting up. So one of the scenarios I gave a couple of days ago, or maybe it was right before Christmas, I did the video where I said, we're either going to shoot up in a really, really big bar before the end of the year and just get to the next numbers like that quickly, quickly, or we'd stair step case it up just gradually, boom, 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 boom. And that's really what the market do, is doing. I mean, that's what the market's doing. But I still see the big green bar day setting up. It's going to have a big, huge rally. Could happen for the end of the year still. But we're basically almost up the next target, which is 210. We're a dollar away from there. And if we stair step case up the next two days, we'll get there, which is 210. And the interesting thing is we gapped down today. So we closed 208.44 on Friday. And we opened at 208.22. I mean, this is a gap down. It's really neutral, but... I, I mean, this is really neutral, but this, we did get down. We did get down this morning and held, and I saw us hold, like, immediately. Let's go look here at the one-minute chart. Go over here. I 
this is this morning. 9.30, bounce, 9.32, boom. You actually, see here, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You could have scalped the market it along. You would have had to know to do that, though, and you would have had to know to do that at right that number. But again, I took the week off, and I think that it's good for people to recharge their minds before the next year. It's a good time to think about your goals for 2015 now at the end of the year. I've personally been doing that for a while, and I think it's very important for people. So the market's definitely higher. Love the way the market looks. And I think it could possibly have a monster green bar day, which I've been expecting for months, either into the end of the year or the beginning of next year. The market will close at uh, probably new highs here in this buy before the end of the calendar year. And we just got up to 209 today. And I saw this all setting up. So it looks great. This market is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it's one of these things where, you know, whether you're doing a, a gap down or a gap up, I mean, you really have to know which gaps are qualified gaps to, to go long or to short. I was talking to someone earlier today. It was a new person that had been referred to me by someone that actually follows me but never did my class. And this person informed me that that person basically started a hedge fund. And I was, I was, I was surprised about that. Uh, and started thinking about it. You know, there's there's so many people actually that start funds. I mean, there are people that start funds with like just a million dollars. Now, I'm not saying just a million dollars. I mean, a million dollars is a lot of money, but there's so many different levels. Okay, there's just so. I mean, this is why this is why you know this is why you have days like this here in the market. I mean, this is why you have days like this here in the market. Remember, remember this drop off in here. It was hard. Okay, you had three red bars down here, this drop off that happened back at the end, uh, beginning of October. You know, I talk about hedge funds being part of this institutional money positioning, but there's all different sizes. When I talk about institutional money, what do I mean? I mean billions of dollars, billions. I don't, I don't mean a hedge fund with just a million dollars or even just $10 million. And $10 million is a lot of money. $10 million is a, is a lot of money, but $10 million is not a big hedge fund. Okay, when I'm talking about institutional money that actually will follow through and move something and follow through, I am talking about serious, serious money, what I call power of money, and it is not to the tune of just a few million. It is billions or at least 100 million or more. And, and you have people that actually, you know, they start hedge funds. They run hedge funds. And not everybody that runs a hedge fund knows exactly what they're doing or how to trade, I must say. And you get days like this, and then people get convinced and have conviction the market's going to drop and fall and come in. This is made a top. It's going to crash. All these things people keep talking about. Well, you have days like this because you have people that have money. I mean, you have people that have money in the market that are getting short or selling, but they're not the ones that are really, really, really making the market that are in charge. And I, I know how to read that. I mean, I know how to read that. That's how I'm able to predict that the market is higher for 2015. We'll continue higher into 2015 because I know what this real power of money looks like. And when I talked to this gentleman today, I found out about this other person starting the fund. I said to myself, you know, gosh, you know, it's like I'm, nothing ever surprises me anymore. I mean, literally nothing ever surprises me anymore for about how much people want to be invested in the market. Like people with money just want to be in the market, even if they don't know how to trade, even if they don't know what to do. People with money like want to be in the market. They want to make money in the market. They see the potential and that's great. But no matter what level you're on, even as one one person with your own individual account or if you managed billions of dollars, you have to understand what you're doing to take risk. Because just because you have a lot of money or just because you say, well, I'm going to go out and start a hedge fund with a couple million dollars, you, you have to understand what you're doing. Otherwise, your potential for losses is huge and you're potential to win is not that great. It's not necessarily the case that if you have a lot of money, you're necessarily going to do well. That's not the case at all. If that was the case, then everyone with money would always make money in the market, and that's not the case. But the fact is that a lot of people have money, and they want to make money, they want to take the money they have, and they want to make it more, but you still have to know what to do with it, and you still have to know how to read it, and you still have to be on the side of the institutions, the real institutions that are making the moves in the market, not just the regulars, okay? And that is why you have to double, triple check yourself, and I do this all the time. Whenever I see things like this here, and there was a bearish gap back here in July, and there was two, you know, 
bearish gaps back in here. There was a December. I mean, I always, always am double, triple checking myself. How am I able to do that? I use my 26 point rating system. I use my 26 point rating system. The 26 point golden gap rating system that I figured out tells you what an institution is doing on the live day and it tells you the direction the stock or the market's going to go, whether up or down. And that's how you know because it is the power of money. It is reading the power of money. It's reading the power of money. So for those of you out there that don't have hedge funds or don't run hedge funds or don't have millions of dollars, you can still do well in the market if you know what to do. You can maximize your profitability, risk to reward, and the funds that you do have and grow it if you know how to trade well. Because even if you have a lot of money, if you don't know what to do, and if you don't know how to trade well, even if you can take a big position, you're not going to be successful in the long run. And really, this is about being successful in the long run. You don't want to crash and burn. You don't, you don't want to put yourself through that emotional stress. This is about learning what to do, taking the amount of money that you have, using that to make money in the market, building on it, and staying consistent and stable. Trust me, I know. I know from personal experience what it is about. It is about the longevity. That is how you're going to make it. And it doesn't matter if you are day trading for a living or you're just doing this on the side. Even if you have a regular job that you love and want to keep, and even if you have a business that you love and want to keep, the, the money that you can make in the stock market on the side, you still have to take it seriously. You still have to take it seriously because your hard-earned money that you have, you want to use that money to make money. You don't want to do things that are improper, uh, and you don't want to make mistakes. So that's why learning what to do is extremely important. No matter how much money you have, no matter what level you want, it is so, 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 so important. And you really got to take it seriously. Whether you have millions of dollars or a small amount of money or a $2,500 prop account, you have to take the money that you're risking and investing in the market seriously. So this is just a spy review here. I don't know if I'll do another video before the end of the calendar year. If I do not, have a wonderful, happy new year, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of my year this year in 2014. For those of you that have watched all my videos and followed me, a lot of exciting things coming up for the Stock Swish LLC in 2015. And it's going to be a really fantastic year for the stock market. And I just hope everyone has a wonderful holiday. If you have any questions or you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And have a happy new year, everyone.